Forty years ago, Swan's founder navigated his own craft from the company's base in Finland to Sardinia. The Swan brand had come into being in 1966, the vision of the Finnish-born but US-educated Pekka Koskenkulja, who was inspired to build his own yacht as he lacked the funds to buy one. He chose to build his boats in glass fiber, then a cutting-edge material, rather than the more traditional wood. I had no uh, technical background. It was easy for me to choose the wooden boat uh, in the, uh, as the first one. But as I then decided that I'd do it on an industrial basis, on a production basis, the obvious thing was to, to, to then make a decision as to what material. At the time, the, the, the new technology was fiberglass. And there were already uh, a few yards in different parts of the world that were building fiberglass yachts of, of this size. And uh, so I thought that I have to go with the, with the technology. It made the boat much lighter. Uh, lighter it means faster. So it was uh, easier to win the races. And uh, of course, uh, the racing rules uh, tried to follow up, but it, they were always a little bit after in development. And so we had a, a, you know, a distinct advantage. The combination of style, craftsmanship and lightness took the sailing world by storm. At Cow's Week in 1968, the Swan 36 won every single race in which she was entered, an unprecedented feat. Every day, bang, 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 we won every race, six of the six. And that was unheard of. Nobody had ever done anything like that. That was like if you were a, a, an author and you get the Nobel Prize. <laughs> it's about the same, same you know, start for a new company. In 1966, Pekka created the Nautas Swan Company, working out of a simple wooden shed on the outskirts of the Finnish town of Jakobstad. Almost 50 years on, the company has grown into one of sailing's most iconic names. The Swan plant can boast state-of-the-art technology. Glass fiber has been replaced with carbon fiber. Plug and mold fabrication and lamination of hulls are created with the most advanced, fully computerized milling machines. The way we developed uh, methods and materials, it's a significant step from where we started. It's, it's mainly carbon. Uh, using the latest development in, in this area. So it's, it's a huge step since uh, the early days to, to where we are today. This is really very close to Formula One kind of, of, of materials and methods used. And technical innovation goes hand in hand with tradition. Swan's legendary build quality is founded on centuries old expertise and local craftsmanship. It's in the backbone of our people, it's, it's, it's a given. Uh, everything that we, we do should be safe and reliable and, and, and good looking. So this, this has not changed, although we've changed the materials and methods. Four decades after Pekka Koskenkulja sailed to Porto Cervo, the link between the boats he created and the Costa Smeralda is stronger than ever. The Maxi Yacht Rolex Cup and the biennial Rolex Swan Cup is an opportunity to celebrate some remarkable sailing vessels from the original classic Sparkman and Stevens designs to the current Herman Freres inspired craft. The company's aim has remained the same, to produce the most elegant and safest sailing yachts in the world. There are three words that I have very heart to heart, which are the coherence, the continuity, e la consistenza. Ecco, questo lo applichiamo al mondo dei Swan e quindi guardando al futuro eh, credo che questi valori li vorremmo sempre enfatizzare e sviluppare con un occhio attento alla innovazione ma senza eccessi, senza estremismi. Credo che siamo determinati più che mai a guardare al futuro ma sempre con, eh, con questa filosofia in, in mente.